Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Core Class Freezer from the Studio Series Rise of the Beast toy line. Just a reminder that this is only the transformation process video and the review is separately uploaded. So bear with me as well, because as you can probably tell, with two, four, six, about 12 ball and socket joints, this can be quite difficult. So, as silly as it sounds, I know it's only a Core Class, but let's start off with taking the head. If it is all the way down, just lift it up at the moment so it's sort of freestanding. Take his backpack, bring this off there, and then detach at the back as well. Now you see you've got an extra gun under here. Fold this through, and then bring this right up over, push the head back into that gap, over it, bring it down, and cover it up. So you've got the front of the gun right there, okay? So this is where I suppose it gets tricky. For In honesty, you can leave the legs, completely pull these out of the way. You're not gonna to touch these again. What we're gonna do now though, is we're gonna try and turn these into, I suppose, uh, like quad legs or the, the legs for the cannon. So what we've got to do here is we're gonna straighten these out like so. Now what we've got here is a little tab and a little, um, I suppose another tab there, sorry, a cutout and a tab. Rotate at the ball joint all the way around. And what we're looking to do is to tab this into position like so. Now again, it is really awkward with all of these. That seems to have gone okay. Let's see if we can match up on the same side. I just want you to see exactly what we're doing here. So I'm turning that down. I'm gonna rotate the ball and socket down. So there's the tab. This one's pretty much in position. There again, turn it at the elbow joint so you can bring this down. And indeed, click that into position. Pull the legs back. Try and get it to line up without it all falling apart or untabbing itself. Um, and to be honest, that, once I've clicked the back up, as soon as I've done that, it's knocked that out again. See what I mean? He's very fiddly. Connect it all back up. But that is oh, your first alternate mode. Right then, let's take him into his target master mode. This one's a little bit more easy, but it still can be quite fiddly. Let's start off with the back legs. There's a tab there and there's a tab in the top of his shin. Fold that in and then just collapse the feet or the toes over that as well. Then lift this up like so. So all we're doing is we're collapsing that into that tab and indeed just lining up this. See how that's just missed it? Pop it down and now you know it's over the right place. It would be much easier now. Oh, there we go. That's just popped out, unfortunately. But we can just put them back together. If these would now tab together, that would make things so easy. What we're going to do then, take the, I suppose, middle limbs. That's the easiest way to describe it. Rotate at this joint all the way around because this tab is now going to fit onto the side of the leg. So again, rotate it around, twist it up, line it up and pop that into position. That goes in really easy and really secure. And again, if they all did that, so separate there, bring this up, rotate it around and tab this in. If it was all as easy as that, it would be a breeze. But as you can see, as by the fact I've pushed that one in, I've nearly enough knocked the other one out as well. So that's the top half, as you can see. And we're nearly there, to be honest. All we need to do now is there's a little not notch or cut out there and there's an extra little tab on this arm so bring this around again we're going to need to rotate this over and this is just going to fit into that cut out oh there we go like so same for the principle for this side roll it around keep rotating the hand around until it's facing inwards slight bend at the elbows drop this over there that's going to tab in much, much better alternate mode. Looks great. Final thing underneath, there is the handle to hold it on. And there is your other mode. Perfect. I'm going to take him straight back to robot mode now while still chatting to you guys. And again, thank Primal Prime who sent me the instructions for this so I could do this. Open up the forearms like so. Oh, detach the middle arms like so. It's much easier to go back this way. If the legs pop up, it's not detrimental. Click it back in, fold this out at the knee and the feet, fold this out at the knee and the feet. This part lift up, remember, push the head forward, fold the gun back in, bring this part over, fold the gun back in on itself, tuck it over, clip it into the back, and then it's just a matter of correcting the orientations on the ball and socket joints. Um, but to be honest, it's up to you. You can have them however you want. Obviously it's better if they're all facing forwards. Um, and then again, if you really want to as well, you can lift the head up, give it a bit more articulation. But there you go, that's the complete transformation process. Thank you for watching guys, take care.